Good morning. It's my morning, guys. How we doing? Chuck, how's the Mopar? Um, it's 20. High of 34. It's gonna be 66 tomorrow. I gotta work. Uh, back here with the 56 Savoy. Uh, money pit. Um, I'm sure you saw my last video, both of you. So anyway, I drug this thing home. Bought it last fall, and uh, with the intention of working on it, turning it into a machine, a bitchin' machine. I mean, guys, I love the lines. Uh, yeah, Virgil Exner created this car. Uh, so Virgil hired on at Chrysler and redesigned the 55 new model year, right? Forward look. Made a Mopar emblem out of it. Anyway, so Virgil, uh, the GM guys found out. What was that guy's name? Charles Jordan. And uh, he, redes he redesigned their entire 55 lineup when he got a look at what these guys were doing. Espionage, I don't know. So we got the Tri-5 Chevys because of Virgil Exner. And uh, Mopar guy or not, you can't beat those. So... I am going to clean this booger out. Uh, last driven in 1980 uh, or so. And uh, I will go from there. Who's this trim? It ain't going anywhere. Uh, yeah, so vacuum it. I'm going to wash it in here too. Uh, yeah, we'll wash it. Why not? And evaluate the uh, evaluate my life's decisions yeah <laughs> all right um let's see is the hood open no i closed it anyway um yeah let me get the vacuum going here and uh you guys can ride along for a while Well, she's cleaner, cleaner, the neighbors, they gotta be wondering what the hell I've dragged home now, they're pretty cool, oh uh, yeah, cleaner, that door won't open, it hits the fender, cleaner, cleaner, chicken dinner, mostly clean, clean as it's gonna get with my, right now anyway, huh? Let's see if there's any cigarette butts in there. Nope. No camels. Yeah, good enough. Guys, okay, she's pretty freaking solid. But uh, obviously for this kind of stuff. Um, you know what? That's sheet metal, I think. I'd have to look at it closer. There, there's a brace there. Hit the thing. Um, look at sheet metal on top that's uh, rusted clearly. I'm shocked that's not bad. Weird. Anyway. Alright, I'm going to get the leaf blower out and blow all this poops out of here. And uh, see what's next. I'm really going to do this. I'm going to warm up. Well, freezing, I don't know. Anyway, let's put you guys over here and you can watch. How's that?
Phase one. It's a whole lot better. We'll put some soap to her. I'm gonna finish it. Yep. That's uh, actually a pretty color blue. Um, whatever. Eh, hey, whatever. All right. Continue. All right. All right. Got the Dawn dishwashing soap going now. Can't scratch the paint too bad. Huh? No. Alright, here we go. All right. Can you guys see the silver paint? Yeah, that's what they did. Some of them, the smaller motors, V8s, uh, the Dodges, the non pot I don't know. They had red valve covers and sometimes a red intake air cleaner. Although I don't know if I see rust or red on this. Who knows what's been done. All right. Boom, shucker a -like boom. There she is in her glory. Hell, she didn't come out half bad. It's cold. Stupid battery died. For those of you who don't own a GoPro, I've had this one since I had Louise. Uh, they can suck, and the battery life sucks. Could be the settings. Anyway, uh, back again. Um, I've had I've done worse had worse days uh, I didn't really eh, That's about as good as it's gonna get. I didn't uh, it's cold out here. You can see where it froze right there but uh, Hell the water wash water is warm um, Yuck That's good So hell she's looking like a car again, right? Come over here. I'm gonna put the glove box door back on, and I gotta put in the uh, ignition switch. Goes up there, and she's done. Yep, she's done. Then, uh, of course, the sills and stuff. Yuck! Ain't touching them. Mm. So, what am I gonna do? Let's have a synopsis here. You can get all these parts. You can get, we certainly know we need glass seal back here. It's cracked, there's a hole right through the car. They come as a pair, $500. You get a fuel tank and sender, $500. You can do the wheels. These are not just your grandma's wheel. These are your grandma's wheels, okay, system. There's two wheel cylinders in the front. There's one in the back, so I would say you're close to a buck and a half a corner, right? 600 bucks. These are more. Um, what all? An engine kit's not expensive. Uh, you would have just to do a dingle ball or hone the engine right, a grand in the engine. Um, the kit for the drive shaft. That's about, uh, what the hell is that? That's close to 200. They have that uh, ball and trunnion like the satellite has on the front. Wheels and tires. Do you just put on the stock look? Well, sure. 
right they're 15 inch so that's good but you know what are you gonna spend 80 bucks a corner probably minimum and then if you want a guy like me you'd like some bitchin wheels I really like uh, Torque Master D the uh, American Racings so you could be spending 1500 bucks for wheels and tires um what else the rust well there's certainly the rust in the trunk I think that's fairly fixable uh, this door is an issue it must have gotten a little whammo while it was sitting in the barn gaps are good I mean yeah but I'm not keeping it hell no I'm already in over my head Oh, not over my, you know what I'm saying. Uh, no, I'm going to flip it. Uh, and I'm going to break even, I think. Clayton could soothe Clay. Uh, the Mopar Junkyard. I'll leave a link in the end. I sent them a picture and he wants more, so I told him what I paid. We could swap parts, too. There's stuff I need over there. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. We're done. I am going to, uh, I'll keep you updated. <laughs> As to what happens, uh, this thing's got great lines. Uh, yeah, so anyway. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.